Okay, so um, just want to share a quick video. Uh, this is just an intro. Uh, keep watching. If you're restoring implants, if you are uh, doing guided surgery, printing your surgical guides, keep watching, and I'll explain why this is my new favorite Amazon purchase. I just got it today, and I think it's pretty awesome for $12.99, I think. I'll keep put a link in the description. Keep watching if you want to see why I love it so much. Okay, so here it is. This is what I like so much about this new tool here. Um, this was a $12.99 purchase on Amazon. And why I bought it was because once in a while when we're printing surgical guides, this is just an old scrap of one, um, basically we uh, sometimes will encounter a situation where we're using a different guided kit, maybe we're placing fixation pins, so maybe someone else printed your guide for you or whatnot, and you find that you go to insert a sleeve or your drills and it's too tight. So for instance, uh, I've got this set of drills that I keep in my office, they're each um, they go by one tenth of a millimeter increment, so 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, so on and so forth. They go from one millimeter all the way up to six millimeters. So at any point, you know, I can't get down to the five hundredths of a millimeter, but I can get down to the tenth and I can open up that hole if I need to. Understanding that anytime you do that, you are affecting your trajectory a little bit, so it's not an ideal situation, but if you know you've got a little bit of play with the apex of the implant, it'll keep the coronal aspect centered where you want it, but it, it may wander a little bit on the apex, um, you know, if you're not careful. So, for instance, this right here, this drill, I know that it fits in here pretty well. It's a little bit tight, but what if this is too tight? Meaning, I mean, this is this fits, but I need it wider. Well, what, ordinarily what I would do is I would just take the next size drill up, just one tenth wider, and I would turn it through there. And I would just slowly hone out the inside, try to let it self-guide, okay? Now, I've actually done this, I've already recorded this once, so I've already honed it out once. But the point is, is I've done this before, and, uh, you know, not a, a, I don't have to do this often, but it happens once in a while, a couple times a year. And when you do this, you end up chewing up your thumbs, holding on to the threads, and it doesn't give you a lot of torque, and you're having to force so much, you end up getting a little deflection. So I decided, you know what, why not just go ahead and get a hand drill. It's got a chuck on the end of it, just like a drill press or an electric drill might have tighten it on here. It even comes with a chuck key, but you don't need it because the, the torque we're applying just does not need that. Basically, I can throw that away. But I can now take this in here and I've got a wider handle, much better grip, and I can just slowly turn this and look right down the edge to make sure I'm you know, perpendicular. And I'm just letting the hole sort of self-guide and thread through there. Okay, so I don't really, I wasn't really planning to do the whole thing here, but uh, just so you can see, I'll go ahead and finish this one out. But imagine you had to do this two times because you had a, you printed a guide and it's you're ready for surgery and it's just too tight. Well, rather than having to redesign the guide with a new hole, within 30 seconds a minute, I've just honed out the inside. Now I'll reverse it out. And it was super easy with this um, hand drill. And again, $13, something just to have in the drawer in the lab, and now it's a wider hole It's what I for, for what I need. So that was the main reason I bought this. Um, so again, 13 bucks, I think it's totally worth it. Get one of these kits, you get about 50 bucks. I have a link on my website, baringrutterdds.com, if you go to like the accessories option. I think this is under printing tools, I think this is also under printing tools now. I've got a bunch of different sections, different links, you know, Amazon links. But here's the other added benefit, why this is so handy. Here's an implant analog with an abutment attached to it. Now I can just lock this on here and I've got an analog holder. You can buy analog holders from implant companies. I have um, one and it cost me about 80 or 90 bucks and it's really handy. But this is 13 bucks, that's 90 bucks. And what's important is you can find smaller hand drills, but the, the chuck size often only goes up to three millimeters. This one, as opposed to the $7 ones, this $13 one goes up to six millimeters in diameter, which is important because some of our guide tubes might be in the over five millimeters quite often. And it's pretty often that the um, analogs themselves are, I don't know, looks like about four and a half millimeters. So most of those cheaper ones won't, you know, cheaper than $12 or $13 or down to $7 won't be big enough. So anyway, uh, I got a link for this on my website. Hope that explains why I think this is such a cool little find. Um, 
I can use it to hone out the inside of my guides if needed be, you know, rarely, but more often than not, I can hold my analogs. Uh, it does have a little compartment in here. So if you find that, you know, you want to carry some of the drills right in here instead of having to have them in the, the drill kit, that's fine. But, um, but whatnot, I guess actually might even be better. Put all your analogs, the different types of analogs, the different size implants you have all right in here. And that way, whenever you need it, you can just pull one out attach your abutment. If you're wondering what this is useful for, now I can prep this. This is like a stock abutment, uh, a system I don't even use anymore, but you can prep this. You can make a custom healing abutment. You can cement your tie bases to your crowns. It's nice to not have to have just, you know, the abutment or just the analog. And sometimes it's tedious trying to do things. Having something much longer to hold on to just makes working on it much easier with a handpiece and whatnot. So, all right, there you go. If you watch this long, Good for you.